your services. This is a free software to download and all
Good morning. Uh, whether here in person or watching on the internet, welcome to our morning worship at North Springfield Church on this 19th Sunday after Pentecost. If you're here in person, please be sure that your phone is turned off. Pastor Patty's on vacation today, so Elder David Kleiner will be leading worship. The sermon will be a good old hymn sing. There are two vases of celebration flowers at the front today. One is for the wedding anniversary of Jim and Cheryl Cullison. The other marks Bill Daisy's birthday. Congratulations to all. The monthly carryout, community, the community dinner will be this Wednesday at 530. I can always use extra hands. If you're able to help prepare or serve the meal, please see me today. Tomorrow night, we are hosting the City of Akron's Ellet Community Center for a moonlight walk in our Ellet Cemetery. Come along with church historian Jim Wyrick to learn some history of the neighborhood and the people that lived here. The walk begins at 6 in the social hall and will be back by 7.30. Community cashback is still on at the Acme stores. Please save your Acme receipts and bring them on Sundays or any other day you're in the building. There's a basket in the Narthex on the table and there's also one in the CE building. This way we can earn cash for programs here in North Springfield. There are lots of blank lines on our sign-up sheets for fall liturgist and flower donations. You'll find them also on the table in the Narthex. Uh, this is a quote. I was thinking about how participating in peace and global witness is so needed in our world now. As a pastor and a Christian, what I really appreciate appreciate about the special offerings that have the national, international, and local component is that they do really make it possible for us as a single congregation to participate in this larger work that we would not be able to do on our own. Then we get the nudge to look at what's going on in our local community and how we can be actively engaged in contributing there. This is uh, the Reverend Charlotte Lorenz from Facebook. Faith Presbyterian Church, Indianapolis, Indiana. You still have the opportunity to uh, participate in the policing Peace and Global Witness offering. There, are, If you um, want to mark it and put it in the, the um, offering plate, or there, and there are envelopes in the narthex also next to where the bulletins are. Our 25% that are from our congregation will be used for our local Santa workshop to engage the community in our activities. Um, so we're really excited about that. Are there any other announcements? Okay. A call to worship. As you're able, you may please stand. Whether we live in an apartment or a house, if we reside in the suburbs or the city. God tells us to pray in the places where we live. Whether we are exiles or prisoners for the gospel. If we are young or old, insider or outcast. God says, when you search for me, you will find me. Whether we have been wandering and lost, or if we have lived in the same place all our lives. God says, I will gather you. In gratitude and praise, let us worship God. Lord, God. Who has given us life and kept our feet from slipping, we thank you now for bringing us to this place of worship and learning. Inspire us to listen attentively. Keep us from wrangling over words in ways that divide. Help us to be a people of light and love that others might see your power in our lives. Touch us with your holy presence and give us your healing strength today that we might move forward in faith and our lives might fulfill your will. In gratitude and joy, we pray. Amen. Amen.
We come to the font to remember that the font connects our confession of sin with the grace and cleansing of our baptism and our baptismal call every day to new life in Christ. Our God, who called us into covenant, invites us, invites us to examine our faithfulness. We, who have known God's healing touch, are recalled to a life of gratitude. Challenged to be builders and planters, we are faced with our destructive, unproductive habits. Together, we seek a better way. Join me in the prayer of confession. Good and gracious God, once more we seek your forgiveness and protection. We find ourselves in exile from the best we know. We have focused so much of our attention on our own concerns that we have had in the welfare of others. We see our own hardships more readily than we feel the past suffering around us. We are angry when we should be grateful. We forget the mercy. Use a time of silence for personal reflection and confession. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God guides us through the wilderness of the world, challenges and encourages us, confronts and accepts us. God works wonders in our midst and gives us the eyes, the hearts, the souls to see such miracles. God grants us wholeness and healing. In Christ we are forgiven. Thanks be to God. Since God has forgiven us in Christ, let us forgive one another. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And also with you. Now exchange with one another words and gestures, signs of peace and reconciliation, saying, The peace of Christ be with you. O oh God, your word is not chained. Send your spirit that by these words we may be set free. Strengthen us to hear their truth and unbind us to live their call. For the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Old Testament reading from Jeremiah. These are the words of the letter that the prophet Jeremiah sent from Jerusalem to the remaining elders among the exiles, and to the priests, the prophets, and all the people whom Nebuchadnezzar had taken into exile from Jerusalem to Babylon. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, to all the exiles whom I have sent into exile from Jerusalem to Babylon, build houses and live in them, plant gardens and eat what they produce, take wives and have sons and daughters, take wives for your sons and give your daughters in marriage, that they may bear sons and daughters. Multiply there and do not decrease. But seek the welfare of the city where I have sent you into exile, 
and pray to the Lord on its behalf, for in its welfare you will find your welfare. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Uh, please join me in a section of uh, Psalm 66 in response to the reading. Make a joyful noise to God, all the earth. Sing the glory of his name. Give him the glory of his grace. To say to God, how awesome are your deeds. Because of your great power, your enemies cringe before you. All the earth worships you. They sing praises to you, sing praises to your name. Come and see what God has done. He is awesome in his deeds and unknowables. He turned turned the sea into dry land. They passed through the river on foot. There we rejoiced in him, who rules by his might forever. Whose eyes he watched on the nations, let the rebellious not exalt. Bless our God, O peoples. Let the sound of his praise be heard. Who has protected us among the living and has not let our feet slip. For you, O God, have tested us. You have tried us as silver is tried. You brought us into the net. You laid burdens on our backs. You let people ride over our heads. We went through fire. And through water. Yet you have brought us out to a spacious place. Our epistle reading is from Second Timothy. Remember Jesus Christ, raised from the dead, a descendant of David. That is my gospel, for which I suffer hardship even to the point of being chained like a criminal. But the word of God is not chained. Therefore, I endure everything for the sake of the elect, so that they may also obtain the salvation that is in Jesus Christ with eternal glory. The saying is sure. If we have died with him, we will also live with him. If we endure, we will also reign with him. If we deny him, he will also deny us. If we are faithless, he remains faithful, for we cannot deny himself or he cannot deny himself. Remind them of this and warn them before God that they are to avoid wrangling over words, which does no good, but only ruins those who are listening. Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved by him, a worker who has no need to be shamed, rightly explaining the word of truth, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Today's gospel reading is a passage from Luke, the 17th chapter. On the way to Jerusalem, Jesus was going through the region between Samaria and Galilee. As he entered a village, ten leopards approached him. Keeping their distance, they called out, saying, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When he saw them, he said to them, Go and show yourselves to the priests. And as, and as they went, they were made clean. Then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praised God with a loud voice. He prostrated himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him. And he was a Samaritan. Then Jesus asked, Were not ten made clean? But the other nine, where, where are they? Was none of them found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? Then he said to him, Get up and go on your way. Your faith has made you well. Normally there would be a message or a, a sermon now, but we have uh, chosen to use a uh, small bit of hymn singing. Three hymns have been chosen. The first one, hymn number 37, Let All Things Now Live In. <laughs> Second hymn, number eight thirty nine. Thank you. 
hymn is uh, 472, 472, a familiar tune. Please join me in the affirmation of faith written in your bulletin so we can recite what we believe. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of the heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended to heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, 
God hears the cry of the poor and is near to all in need. Let us pray for our neighbors, our world, and ourselves, trusting in God's mercy and love. Merciful and loving God, you invite all people to come to wash in the water and be cleansed. Renew your universal church in the gift of baptism and strengthen for service all who bear the sign of the cross. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. You never abandon any of your children. We pray for our congregation's ministries of care and visitation, that those who cannot be with us physically might still experience your presence. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. You provide water for our life and refreshment. We pray for the health of our oceans, rivers, lakes, and streams that nourish the earth and for safe, clean water for all people. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayers. We are faithful even when we lose our way. Guide world leaders to move from wrangling over words to action that benefits the welfare of all. Especially today, we pray for the leaders and citizens of Ukraine that your spirit would support and protect them in this terrible time of unprovoked violence and war in their country. And we pray for the leaders of Russia that your spirit would move in them and guide them into an attitude of mercy and peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Your son ministered to lepers and restored their dignity. We pray for those in our city of Akron, our country, and our world who are homeless and hungry, those who are suffering any kind of addiction, those who are grieving, and those who are ill in mind, body, or spirit. Be near to those whose situation or illness carries shame or stigma and give them the support of a loving community. Especially, we pray for those on the prayer list of North Springfield Church and for all those we now name in our hearts, either silently or aloud. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. All this we ask, gracious God, together with all that is known to you alone. In the name of your risen and anointed Son, through the power of your life-giving Spirit. Amen. And now, with the confidence of the children of God, let us pray the prayer Jesus has taught us to pray. Our Father... Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And then lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Practicing gratitude can change our lives as individuals. It can change our life as a congregation. In the spirit of gratitude to God, our giving is not reduced to ethical duty, but is elevated to delight and joy. As we offer to God these measured gifts, let us also offer unmeasured praise.
join with me. With thanksgiving and praise, we bring the first fruits of our labors, the best of all we have, which is but a portion of the bounty you entrust to us. Accept our gifts, gracious God, as a symbol of our renewed commitment. We dedicate ourselves and our offerings to your faithful service. Let us go now and practice our faith by practicing gratitude to God every day in all circumstances. For God is bringing us from death to life. May God keep watch over us and all nations. May Christ restore us, body and soul. And may the Holy Spirit help us to remain faithful, giving thanks to God on our whole life. 